Buzz's love doesn't exist. Episode 2. I best be off. Have a safe trip and I'll see you at home, Appa. Why didn't you join Guihian on his way home, Yunhai? Well, it's not everyday Sian's here. Sian. It feels like the old days, doesn't it? What? Um, right. Let's go to my room and look at old photos. I have something I want to talk about. After Yunhai arrived at our house, my parents developed a new habit. I didn't realize there were so many photos of the two of us. Did you? They took photos of Yunhai and me every chance they could and kept them in albums. Come to think of it, they probably wanted to keep a record of their long-lost daughter that just returned to them. Knowing that I might get suspicious if they only took pictures of Yunhai, they made me a standing prop. Look at your aloof face here, Sian. Your face was always so awkward in photos. Was it? Always. There is not one photo of us where you're smiling. <laughs> you resented me for coming to this house back then, didn't you? No, I thought you were just a cousin then. I was the only one left in the dark for seven years, thinking you were a long-lost cousin. Truthfully, I still resent my parents a little for telling me the truth too late. If only I had known a little earlier, I wouldn't have stayed Guihin's fiancé for so long. Our dear Sian, you grew up so healthy and beautiful. And more than anything else, I would have had more time with my birth parents. And perhaps I would have had more time to try and stop their tragic deaths. Ha, huh, this photo. Oh that, you probably haven't seen it before. That photo was taken with Appa and Aijin after we got married. It was only later that I heard Aijin rushed straight to my birth mother's funeral when he landed in Korea from the US. It was a strange feeling knowing that everyone I had ever relied on through the tough times had left my side and that the only person who kept me company to the funeral's end was none other than Aijin. Hey Sian? Yes? How would you feel about living in the United States? What do you mean? If Fidesz all right with you, do you want to join me? You're joking, why would you suggest something like that? I don't joke about things like this. Looking back on it now, I think he was serious. This man doesn't know how to say an empty word. I'm all right. Joke or not, thanks. But I didn't think it fitting to rely so much on Aijin, and didn't want to be any more of a burden, so I declined. It's all in the past now. Why'd you close it? Done so soon? Yeah. Guihin and Aijin are both in my past now. It's getting late, I should get going. Wait, Sian. I have something to say. You said you couldn't understand why our parents told you the truth so late, right? I wanted to tell you. There's a valid reason for it. That's why I couldn't say anything either. Wait. Do you mean you couldn't either? You mean you knew the whole time? Um, yeah. I knew the truth ever since I came to this house. You're d I mean, our Hanum parents didn't want you to know. They were worried that you who grew up in a wealthy household would suffer if you had to come to their impoverished home after their business failed. And, and our parents couldn't just abandon you after all they had raised you from birth. So it was decided that everyone would hide the truth for your sake. For me? What about all this was for me? I also knew about your relationship with Guihin before coming to this house. I knew that Guihin Zhang, the eldest son of Midnight Sun Food Inc. was betrothed to marry Sian Kim, from a young age. Then one day, mom said to me, that Guihin Appa's true fiancé is me. She said she felt bad for you, but that she was going to set everything right and to be at peace, dating Guihin and she got me the job as Appa's secretary. What? 
I always thought that it was a coincidence that she became Guihian's secretary and happened to fall in love, working together. All this time, I thought their relationship was a coincidence. This was all mom's doing. Then mom said, she couldn't see the fake daughter joining the Zhang family when the real daughter, I was right here. So Yunhai approached Guihian on purpose, knowing full well that he was my fiancé. The betrayal hit me like a ton of bricks. All this time I thought Yunhai was a victim just like me, but she was a partner in crime. Why are you telling me all this now? I'll be straight. Guihin's brother, Aijin, don't meet him even if he reaches out to you, Xian. And why do I have to listen to you? You know they say opportunity makes the thief. You might start to covet Aijin out of grief over Guihin. What? Mom always says poor people value money more than their pride of self-respect. Of course, I know you're reasonable enough not to be like that but, poverty can change you. All that aside, I don't think you'd want people calling you a forlorn fiancé going after her rich ex's brother, do you? Also, don't come back to this house. Can't you see how uncomfortable my parents get? You're an adult now. You don't need them anymore. Are you done? Yep. Then it's my turn, Yunhai Kim. You didn't even turn up to the funeral of the parents who raised you. I don't know how you or the parents in this house can turn so cold towards people they called family for so long. But whatever the reason, I don't accept advice from cold-blooded people like you. Hey. You really think it's a coincidence that I came to this house right after the business of the dad and Hanum failed? You really believe that it was the hospital's innocent mistake that you and I were switched at birth? You don't think it's even a little bit strange that my parents didn't so much as raise a complaint to the hospital over losing their precious daughter? What are you saying? I really wasn't going to say this. Grandma made us swear not to tell you before she passed. Yunhai's paternal grandmother whom I knew to be my grandmother my whole life never said a kind word to me. When mom was pregnant with me, grandma went to the temple to pray for a smooth every day. And one day a monk stopped her and said, It is a pity that the lifespan of that baby is so short. Your bloodline will end with that child. But there are ways to extend your granddaughter's life. If you're willing to listen and do as I say. So grandma did as she was told and got a hold of a nurse in the hospital's newborn nursery and switched me with you, who just happened to be born the same day. What? Apparently, the monk told her that if I were to live 24 years under another roof, I'd be healthy the rest of my life. But when the business of the father I grew up with went south, that's when grandma confessed her severit to my parents. But if they were to tell your birth parents, they'd look for you right away, right? Where is our real daughter? Where is our real Yunhai? I had to fully reach 24 years under your roof, so it all had to be kept a secret until then. So, they convinced your parents under the guise of a good deed, by bringing me in when they did. I had to stay under your birth parents' family registry until I turned 24 years old, you see. Welcome, Yunhai. But earlier, you said my parents knew. Why are you making up these lies? Xian Choi, I'm telling you the truth because you're so pathetic. Me? <laughs> Cold-blooded? <laughs> My parents and I didn't change overnight. We've known. I'm sure you can sense which is the truth. Say it. What? What are you saying? S say that it's all a lie you've concocted. She's lying. If these aren't lies, that means that my birth parents and I for 25 years. We were all playthings under the control of this icon family. If this is all true, what's to become of my dead parents, who died burdened with guilt and no knowledge of the truth? Of course, I feel bad. How was I to know they'd die so quickly? But it's not like you and your family only got the short end of this deal. What? You grew up rich and beloved by this household and Guihians instead of me. And grandfather in Suwon bought you a considerable amount of land out in Jeonggi province. 
you've enjoyed so much on my behalf. What are you complaining about? These parents sold that land, saying the possession tax was too high, soon after Yunhai arrived, with that money, they built a building in the middle of Gangnam in Yunhai's name. If the Icon parents had felt any remorse over Yunhai's grandmother deeds and decided to pay their debts by helping my birth parents, they might be alive today. May heart could burst from the anger and resentment I feel towards Yunhai's family. Yunhai Kim. You were also loved instead of me by my Hanum parents. I heard you guys went on vacations abroad each summer and you were tutored in every subject. But when the people who raised you hit hard times, you didn't even think to visit them, let alone help them. And you say you're not cold-blooded? I'm not. You don't think I felt bad? Don't act like you know everything. When dad collapsed, all mom did was cry. What was I to do? Don't make excuses. You felt like your impoverished parents were a burden and wanted out. Speak for yourself, Sian Choi. You're the one there for scraps. No, I'm not. My parents and I aren't like you and your parents, using others' lives for your own gain with no remorse. I guess this is why they say blood is thicker than water. You take after your grandmother and parents in your selfishness and shamelessness. What did you say, Sian Choi? You'd better shut your mouth. I'm not done. Today is my birthday too. And I haven't made a wish yet. I'm going to make it now. Join me and help make it come true. My wish is that you'll be as miserable as I am. No more, no less. Exactly as miserable as I am, Yunhai. How dare you curse me? I was taking pity on you and this is the thanks I get? Yunhai. Mom? What's the matter? You look pale. It's terrible, Yunhai. Just terribles. Guihin is, he's. What happened to Appa? Guihin got into a car accident on his way home and died on site. To be continued. <laughs>